Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're doing a best of three Zendikar Rising draft, and the rare we've opened is Oran Rifus. It's kind of an easy pickup, great card. Really, really powerful, hard to beat. Uh, almost feel bad in how powerful it is. Doesn't even seem that powerful on the surface, but it's just insanely strong. Canyon Jerboa, another card in here, very good landfall creature. Kazul's Fury, playable spell land. Ravager's Maze, good for the party decks. Healer, good for cleric decks. C4 Stalker, great party finisher. Royal Mage, good for party, good for wizards, good for kicker. Feed the Swarm, playable black removal. Gloom Hunter, good for decks that care about lifelink. Kicker decks. Um, Bailoff, great. Landfall Beater and Blight Blade playable as well. All the rest aren't that exciting. We're on Reboos. Great first pick though. Alright, follow up pick. We can take the Gnarled Colony. Synergize as well with it, but we probably just take a Rabbit Bite because good removal. Hope to find some more uh, counter synergies along the way. Yeah, like Golgari counters is where Oran Reboos is really going to shine, so we'll see if we can make that happen. For now, let's just try and cut green as hard as we can to make this ooze be able to make our deck. Alright, well, Dauntless Survivor would be great for us, but we'll probably take the Balagad reco uh, Recovery. I want the counters, especially with the ooze synergy, but Recovery is going to get our ooze back, and it's a spell land, so. Other notable picks in here, the Geyser Mage is good. The Charger is good. Nothing else super exciting. All right, pretty easy Tangled Florahedron now. Uh, nothing else for the counters deck so much. I guess Scale the Heights would be a good one. Cliffhaven Kite Sail on Oran Rifus would be nice as well, but Florahedron just seems like a safe, nice, solid green pick for what we're trying to do here. All right. So I guess Shadow's Verdict would move us, maybe keep us in like a counters colors. It, Unfortunately, it just kills everything we have, including the use and Exiles, too, which turns off our Balagad recovery, so I don't really like it. Probably can do Reclaim the Waste. I don't really like that either. It's maybe just better than Scale to Heights, though. Best card in the pack is probably Cinderclasm. I guess, you know, we could, actually, we could actually do Cinderclasm. Not that I think it's particularly good here. It's just, I don't know why I would need Reclaim the Waste, I guess. So here, it's like Visionary or Nectar Pot. Um, that's about it. Probably Visionary. Good with Rabbit Bite. Gives us card advantage. Helps find our ooze. More exciting than a Nectar Pot, I would say. Just Spellcraft in red, which is playable, but... And I love the Gruel colors anyway, so I could, I could do that. But let's cut green for now and see what deck is open to us. So... Take the Stampede, but let's just cut green. Might of Maras is playable. It's not a great card, but it's playable. And if we're going to cut green hard pack one, I think that could pay off for us later. Well, some late blue stuff that's decent. This is basically only good for rogues, I would say. And then Expedition Diviner. Um, good Wizards card, too. Another chance to get a Spellcraft, which is good playable removal. But I'm going to take Might again. Just cut and green hard. Alright, Bailoff is a good landfall beater. No problems there. Jerboa pretty late, but Bailoth is definitely good and playable. So we'll take it. We'll take the Brute. Just stuff in all colors. What colors open? I don't know. How about just playable stuff in every single color? Uh... Cut the black card, I guess. Uh, maybe we can take the lag act. Yeah. I actually kind of like... Not kind of. I really like the Gruel Landfall. But it makes our ooze slightly less exciting. But I don't think that matters. I don't even think that matters. And last pick, red card. Okay. Sure. Another Shadow's Verdict. There's Fortification, Feed the Swarm Constrictor for counter strategy. Probably just take a Fortification. 
There's a rock slide sorcerer, which kind of cool. A cinderclasm, inordinate rage, minor morass, a rabbit bite. Hmm. I guess we could take sorcerer. It is a pretty powerful card. Decent chance we still end up in red. Pinging stuff off is attractive. It's really good with cinderclasm, yeah. And really cool with rabbit bite, too, actually. All right. We'll consider it. It's a weird deck. Well, good pickup for us here. We're going to take the, the Mammoth. I think Surge is insane with Ooze if you can kick it, but Mammoth's too good to pass up. Three drop that probably attacks as a 5-5 for the rest of the game. We didn't wield that Survivor, sadly. A uh, couple good black cards in here, but let's take the Mammoth. Be a happy camper about that. So we can take the Blight Blade. I like that. Early blocker. We've got a pretty good late game plan already with Ooze, especially. Taking it over like a Molten Blast. I'm okay with that. It's also really good with Rabbit Bite, obviously. Let's see here. Yeah, Coom Warrior. Tough to go wrong with Spell Lands. Uh, taking it over a Hellhound, which I would play, but sometimes wheels. And another Spellcraft. Spellcraft's not at its best. It's probably at its worst in a red deck like this, where we really aren't going to have many class cards. But somehow we do have a Blight Blade and a Rock Slide Sorcerer in here. And I guess an Akum Warrior and a Visionary. So I suppose there are a few class cards. I don't want to have to play a Scorch Rider. Or a champion. I don't think, even though we have the Marasa Brute, which I also don't want to play, I would prefer to go for more of a a different plan, I guess I should say. But take another champion, and then what? We're going for like a some sort of gruel. We're doing gruel warriors. Not loving it. Otherwise, there's a Charger, which is actually just a good card. It just pings. Just blocks and pings. All right, we'll take it. Pickaxe. Decent option. Or the Ascetic. Yeah, I'll go Pickaxe. We can make Landfall work here. We have a lot of spell lands already, so... Stomper is cool. Good with the spell lands and just landfall in general. Big finisher. I'm okay with that over a cleric. Although cleric has synergy with the ooze, but ooze just, you play it on turn three, you pump itself, and then it just attacks and gets bigger every turn. It doesn't even need health to help to be better. So we can take the bug catcher. I guess we do have a fair amount of warriors and diversity and creature type at this point, so, okay. Kind of got a mixed plan, which I don't love. A bit of landfall, a bit of party-oriented stuff, so a bit of a mess on that front. I guess we can take another Scorch Rider. Maybe we wheel that champion, we'll see. We can take another Charger or another Marasa Brood. I guess we'll go Charger. Like I said, they're, they're kind of cool, actually. Not even bad with Cinderclasm. Can ping the board for two and then ping something else. And obviously, like, Fireblade Charger is really good with the Inordinate Rages. So a lot of late playable white stuff. We'll take the worst card because we're not switching colors this late in the draft. Worst card is probably the Smite. All right, get the Hellhound. Still in that really awkward mix of landfall and um, landfall and non-landfall warrior stuff. So another Florahedron, probably just fine. Otherwise, there's counter-oriented cards for ooze, but. Florahedron gets us to our four drops quicker, and it doubles the land. It's just good. We'll just take it over a Minotaur and other stuff. So we 
take a, another warrior land. I'm fine with that. Inordinate Rage. Blade Blade Snarecaster. Yeah, we'll take the warrior. Get the spell lands. So another chance to get the Hellhound. Or we can take another Stomper. We do have two ramp already. I'm not really keen on landfall plan anymore because I feel like probably have enough warriors to do something with that probably could take the kite sail yeah I feel like going over top in this deck is probably gonna win some games another cinderclasm well I think we'll take the royal eruption this time a little more targeted removal Valakut exploration it's kind of cool actually I usually don't like this card, and I probably don't take it because there's an ambush in here, but this might be a deck where it's okay because we have a lot of, like, high-end stuff. I don't know. I don't know where this card's at its best, to be honest. It's a tough card to figure out. Well, I guess we have enough Scorch Riders for a lifetime. There's no way I'm playing that many. We'll just take a... right? Or am I take, playing that many? What are my warrior synergies? Basically just like a champion? Yeah, I'm just going to take gems. I don't care about three Scorch Riders. I'll take another Brute, though. Another Visionary. Electromancer. So we've got the full, full party sort of deck going. I don't know what's going on with this deck. It's a weird deck. So we take a snare caster. Probably just take the rare. More gems. Sneaking guide might be in here. Maybe not though. Boys. Sure. Let's see what we got here. Take these out. Do the spell lands. And spell lands. Spell land. Spell land. Spell land. Well, it's a lot of spell lands. That's cool. So, Mammoth, we want to count as a spell. Or a Hedron, I kind of want to count as a spell, too, but. So we have a lot of four drops. Let's cut the Hellhound. Like I said, I think we're probably off landfall plan for the most part. Which might mean I don't want the Lag Axe either. Like, I'm okay with the Bailoth, but probably don't need the Lag Axe. How many actual things do I have for Sorcerer? We have Electromancer. Two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, these are two. Enough where it's getting played. Uh, we can easily cut creatures. Although, yeah, we've got, like I said, do I, I kind of want to count Florahedrons as spells. Currently, yeah, we're definitely counting the Mammoth as a spell. That's just... has to. I kind of want to count Colony Ambush as a spell as well. But then am I counting Florahedrons as a spell or a land? I guess I can count them as a land. Ambush I'm going to count as a spell. So that leaves us with 2, 4, 5... Plus 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. We probably want at least 17. So we need to make 4 cuts. I think Sneaking Guy can go. It's not really doing much in here. It's cool with Bug Catcher, I guess. And we have enough party stuff where we could probably make it happen. I don't know if I need all these Scorch Riders. Do I even have enough Warriors for Champion? Why am I running Electromancer? Like, There's a lot of reasonable questions here. 
Electromancer, I feel like, doesn't do that much other than the fact that it's a wizard. I guess it synergizes with Sorcerer. We have two chargers, a bug catcher. It's three, four, five, six, seven, seven warriors for champion, which isn't that many. Oh, these are two. All right, maybe nine is enough. Probably afford to cut at least one Scorch Rider. They're not that good. Uh, probably cut Tormenting Voice. It's just easy card to cut. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Maybe we can just cut one more and call it good. Because we have a lot of early to mid. I can probably cut a Might of Marasa, right? So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Plus 18, 19, sort of, in a pinch. Okay, I guess that's fine. More green than red. We've got double green here. Double red here. We already have three green lands, so I guess we'll do an even split. There goes eight, and three plus six is nine. So no, I do have to choose one or the other. So I guess we'll do, I guess we'll do the extra green. I think. Basically, yeah, because like I said, I'm counting these as lands. All right. Cool deck. All right. We'll run it like this. We'll see around one. All right. Keep this. It's a good rip. Do the charger. Turn two. Uh, we may play the recovery. If we rip a land, I don't have to. That's sweet. I like that. Alright, Hunter, it's cool. Block makes sense. Thing is, I'm kind of happy to make it too. Basically, my one drops just got rid of a premium removal spell and a gloom hunter. Kind of happy about that. We're on refus. Wow. So I'm actually gonna do the ooze on itself here. Rage the ooze. And leave that on top. Drop a brute. So I think we just play. see here. Yeah, they die. They die. So, they're playing black-white with black-white random stuff. So, uh, Gloom Hunter, Vampire, and Dreadworm. So, no real no real uh, similarity between the creatures. Um, sideboard stuff we actually can do. Yeah, I guess we do. I mean, we have like Mito Morasa. We've got more creatures. 
but nothing that really stand out sideboard cards. So I guess we'll just run it back. Well, this one's a one lander as much as I want to keep it. It's got like all of our powerful stuff in it, but we're going to call again. And I guess we'll keep this. And we'll probably dump the inordinate rage. Cinderclasm potentially can kill some things. Alright. Well, I guess I don't have to jam that yet. If I was supposed to play the recovery there, I guess it doesn't matter now. All right, so we got our red mana. Yeah, I think we just jam a visionary. Just replacing the hand here the best we can. Shepherd of Heroes. Not bad. Keeping their stuff back. Hmm. Well. So I guess I can attack with Visionary, see if they even block. They might not. If they don't, I just play a Charger. And then we have a blocker for Protector. find an opportunity to kill that shepherd. We're actually close. Now I think we'll just get into three. Two cards left. Play the Blight Blade. I guess I could have done the Electromancer too. Um, kick this. Guess we do the ooze and we have to do the royal eruption plus the cinder plasm, so I'm gonna wait one more turn here. It's actually good that they did that. Well, I should have blocked the Celebrant too, whoops. So, let's 
see here. Oh, that's nice. So, I suppose we can attack here. Let's see if they block. Uh, maybe this won't work. Let's see. Get a charger. I don't have the double. I've only got three red. So I have to do Charger, Electromancer. And then can I still not do it? Charger, Electromancer gives me two. Then I'm at three. Royal Eruption, Cinderclasm kicked. That good. It doesn't actually leave me much here. I think I might be just be SOL. I'm not actually sure. Do this. I get two. Tap this, this, this. Get two. So I'm at three. Royal Eruption. But all my guys die. No, but I only have to do it for one. I see. Okay. Okay. All right. I got it now. I figured it out. So we do the Electromancer. We got the uh, red here. So Royal Eruption. Dude, Cinder Plasma for one. So I didn't actually have to play the. I didn't actually have to play the Charger there. That was a mistake. Something didn't quite seem like it was adding up, so. Alright, so. We'll stay back. Hmm. Why didn't they do the sounds so that they didn't have to trade? I don't get it. So, can we win this? Yes, we can. Should we win this? Yes, we should. I feel good about this match. Not really feeling any sort of real consistent plan or vibe out of our opponent. Meanwhile, we've got a ton of cheap beaters and efficient stuff. Cinderclasm admittedly not looking great. I have a couple targets for it, but... Probably enough where I have to leave it in. All right. All right, we'll keep. I don't want to have to play the Balagad recovery. I'm going to hold off. For now. Right. If I don't draw land next turn, I probably play the recovery. Alright. I wanna I wanna ensure I hit the the bail off. We have a stomper so we can get it back too. Seems fine. Go 
White blade. I guess I'm willing to trade a inordinate rage for a for a highborn vampire. Yeah, well, they're tapped out, I guess. I guess if that's their best play, I'm not feeling too bad. Uh, maybe just in case they have a mind drain. I'm just gonna do it now. <laughs> wow. That worked out. I mean, they still have all the removal, but it still worked out. So I didn't want to attack with the Blight Blade there because it actually makes the Bug Catcher weaker for the next turn or two. Second sandbag lands. Do I want to sandbag lands? Maybe. I don't know. That will do it. We'll see for round two. All right, round two, keeping this hand. Um, I don't want to play the ambush, but here we are. I want the Florahedron on turn two. Cleric deck, 
Let's go visionary here. Combo online. So let's get in with visionary. We'll take B. We can go. Let's see, we'll have five, so I guess we'll go for a hedron. Possibly. So they're still missing their land drops, which is good. So I guess we'll just bash in with these two. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we just kill it. Oh, they have practice tactics up, though, huh? All right. So instead, we'll do Stomper and I'll return the call the ambush. Call it good. tapped out. So I think we can probably deal enough damage here. Probably. So let's see, I can get in for eleven. I think we just this one and then ambush here and here. All right. Oh, it's got a pretty nuts looking little cleric deck there. We want more combat tricks. Maybe. Cinderclasm still looks good. Multi Blight Priest. Chargers are still going to be good. So, yeah, we'll just do it again, I think. Keep that. I guess we'll keep this. Pitch, uh, probably a Clasm, I guess. Yeah, that was a good draw. It's gonna let us get that turn two Florahedron and start ramping towards our big stuff. They have tactics. Stopped again. I feel like. I feel like they have tactics. Let's see. Oh, a kite sail. That's cool. Right. So 
suppose we'll sack that. And really do that much to us, so I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, here we're gonna do the. Here we're gonna do the ooze. She's gonna pump the visionary. And uh, just get in with visionary. They're going to use the tactics, too. So we could have done kite sail to get around that, but I kind of like this. Because we don't we don't actually need ooze to have a counter to still be good for our deck. Um, and we got rid of their kite, their celebrant, which is obviously a, a pretty important card for their deck, too. So. Uh, let's do the... Let's do the... Root for now. Pass. Like I'm, I'm kind of surprised they use the two for one themselves there, because they would have been able to get the ooze. But I guess you know it's a reasonable way to play around. Uh, Reasonable way to play around, uh, so they don't have anything for that, huh? What am I trying to say? Uh, pump spells. Reasonable way to play around pump spells. Mm, construct is a good one. Mm, they're attacking too, huh? Okay. So, up to six lands. Guess we do Stomper here. And we're just going to bounce this. And pass. So ambush is pretty sweet. Let's do the kite sail. A stomper. In for six. And maybe we do actually play the Yeah, we're actually pretty close to killing them. I can Royal Eruption them. Let's leave up the Calm the Ambush, though, I think. We only we only have to do this. And then we roll eruption. Alright. We'll see you for round three. Alright, we'll play first. Yeah, it's a keep. It's hard to not keep this hand. We'll go with the Blight Blade first. Opponent is mulling. Okay, so we'll do the 
warrior. I'm much happier with that than my bail off. Alright. You know what? I'll probably do a Might of Marasa here. Kind of don't have to. Um, basically, I'm trading a Might for a Zulaport Duelist, but otherwise they get like a two for one. Alright. I don't love this, but I think it's reasonable. I'd rather trade my spell and get something out of it than trade my thing for nothing. I don't know. Seems like if you're ahead on cards in hand, that's what you're supposed to do, even though technically we're somehow even in hand now, even though they multiply. I guess we do technically have another land. We have another land that they don't have. Alright, we'll drop a bail out this time. See if it resolves. Alright. Sure. I missed. I guess that's good. War on Rifus is pretty sweet. Let's uh, let's just get in there. If they want to double block, so be it. I think we're actually gonna do the ooze. It's just gonna take the game over faster than a Scorch Rider. Although it's less efficient. Sure. So, we'll get in for one. We'll drop a Scorch Rider. I guess we'll play this. Gets us closer to Kicker or Hardcast, Kazandu Stomper, or whatever. So, we do have eight cards in our graveyard. Which means that Relic Golem is live. Guess I could have offered. It's true. The Scorch Rider. Inordinate Rage. Maybe they have another duelist. That would be cool. Yeah. Get rid of all of our good stuff. So, I think once again, I'm just gonna protect it. Get rid of the land. So, definitely getting rid of Blight Blades now that we've seen multiple uh, duelists. They're just going to be quite a bit worse. The Chargers are too, actually. They just Those are just really good cards against our early game plan. Alright. Well, we're going to Royal Eruption. 
corruption that. Ooh, recovery. What can I get back? Rabid bite. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. So we'll get back the rabbit bite. We'll eat the golem. We'll attack with the scorch rider. this as though we're barely beating the multiply, which is not a good sign. Well, that was a good rip. That was a good rip. Alright. And then we can get these back too. That's nice, actually. I guess we'll just bounce this. Yeah. And just pure gas, too. I mean, we are too, but we also had seven cards in our hand. <laughs> Barely beat the Mold of Five Rogue Sec. That's that's terrifying. We're gonna get rid of the Chargers and the Blight Blade. Kite Sail does stop their flyers. Cinderclasm kills everything in their deck. I guess that's good. I mean, the sad part is Charger would be good against them if they didn't. Maybe I have to leave the Chargers in for Sky Dancers. That's tough though. It's like all their stuff evades. So when are they? When are they gonna? Basically, I have to attack into duelists. I, I feel like it's not good enough. I'd rather just have more creatures. I think. Or four drops though. I'm not in love with more four drops. They're tempo-y too. Real tempo-y. But if my chargers don't die, then there's no way to do anything. Maybe we'll do one charger, one lag egg. We'll split the difference. But like I said, those these creatures suck against Zulaport Duelists. And they only have to leave open one mana to make it good. His hand is good, though. Can go turn three Scorch Rider off a of Florahedron. That's pretty good. Or probably doing the turn three Visionary. It's hard to go wrong with turn three Visionary. Getting that card draw. The floor of Adrian.
I mean, I guess we can do the Scorch Rider. I just like getting more options with the Visionary, but it is significantly less power and toughness, so it might make sense. Or maybe they kill our guy, who knows. Alright. I'm alright with that too. Especially now that I've ripped the land, so we'll go Champion into Scorch Rider now. Get the beats going. We have a lot of removal in there too. Alright, Sorcerer is kind of sweet. Sorcerer is actually really nasty. Let's do the Scorch Rider first, though. Or Rock Slide Sorcerer is really nasty, I meant. Sorry. Because that's going to let us just ping off all their little 1-1s. One -ones. Alright. Let's do Bailoff. Could have done the Visionary again. That time we could have maybe ripped a land, but I suppose we can do that next turn too. Alright. I'm glad we brought in uh, more creatures, that's for sure. Let's do the Visionary. Like if my rock, I, that I feel like this rock slide sorcerer is gonna take the game over. So I really would like to not have that get killed if possible. Visionary seems insane against our opponent if their whole deck is apparently removal. Drana, can I kill her? Yeah, we can. All right. Oh, well, that's good. We'll just nip that problem in the bud. I'm gonna actually sandbag the kite sail in case they play mind drain because I discard it in a heartbeat. Right, damn, it's a good draw. Can't quite play it yet, but that's alright. spells. Um, you know what? Ambush. <laughs> well, I guess the good news is they don't have any cards left in their hand. <laughs> Here. I'll take more threats. You know, if it's I don't need a land on top. I don't need to play the mammoth. I can wait. I can play stuff. Keep him busy. Don't quite have that sixth land to give haste yet, unfortunately. Be the rare time you actually use Scorch Rider for haste. Still didn't quite get there. <laughs> All right, so we beat removal that rogues that decks, managing somehow to do better against their mull to six or seven card hand than against their five. However, that worked. Ended up going two one. We'll take it. Weird deck. This is one of the weirder. Just very little synergy in our deck, and uh, basically just a stack of powerful cards, which. Uh, Glad to get a couple victories with. So, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.